Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another one. Sometimes our OGs, you know, the ones that came before us, sometimes get it wrong. And this is one of those cases where I feel what Sherman was trying to say, but it just came off wrong, you know. And I'm glad that uh, Coach Prime and Travis, you know, got together and made sure that. You know, they spoke to Sherman and things got clear because according to Travis Hunter, him and Sherman has spoken. Huh. Yeah, we talked on the phone, you know. Amen. Yeah, man. Just, hey, like you said, it was just, uh, uh, and he ain't mean for the go out that way, that type of no negative energy, you know. He was telling me that he watched me a lot. But, you know, I grew up watching him. You know, 49 is my favorite team when I was growing up, so. You know, that was lucky our rival, the Seahawks. Yeah. Him playing DB. I modeled my game at them when I was younger. So, yeah, because, you know, he was locked down DB. So, yeah, you know, he just know. Uh, he's telling me he apologized, you know. I, I said the apology. You know, I ain't mean for if I did anything wrong. You know, it, it just kind of hurt me because I, I look up to him. So, yeah. that's pretty much what it was. Amen. So, let me just give you a little back history here in case you're unaware of the story. Recently, Richard Sherman, you know, ex-NFL star, you know, he he was doing his thing. You got to give him that. He spoke on Travis Hunter pretty much saying that, you know, when Travis get to the NFL, he's not going to be able to play both sides of the football, how he's doing in college. Because, according to Richard Sherman, he's trying to say that, um, uh, the defenses in the NFL will exploit Travis Hunter because of fatigueness. But one thing Richard Sherman don't know is that um, our boy Travis Hunter, he don't get tired, like Kevin Gates say. He don't get tired, man. The man just run around and run around and run around. Now, I understand what Richard Sherman tried to say, but it just came off wrong because, you know, he kind of mentioned that at wide receiver, Travis Hunter is a little bland. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh excuse me? Like, this, this is my reaction. Travis Hunter, right now as we speak, almost got 500 yards in total offense right now. And this just right now, y'all. To be exact, he got 37 catches for 472 yards. Five touchdowns on offense already. Now, on defense, he got 14 tackles, two pass deflections, and an interception on defense. So, he could play both ways, most definitely, as we know. But at that next level, could he? Now, Coach Prime believe he can. You know, we believe he can. And we shall see here soon, going into next year. But with that being said... You know, Coach Prime and Travis Hunter got with Richard Sherman and and, and, and they spoke and they, and they addressed the issue. So this should go away here soon because like Travis says, stop speaking on me. Let me play football. And this is all this young man want to do is just play football and be great. We shouldn't be sitting here trying to determine what he can or what he can't do. Let's see what he could do. You know, and that's just my opinion and that's just my reaction to the situation. I'm just glad that they got it uh, resolved. And I'm glad they spoke it out because, you know, you just hate to see some of the NFL greats already voicing their opinions on Travis Hunter. Now, I get it. Everybody can voice their opinion. It's, hey, we all got freedom of speech. But at the end of the day, stop voicing your opinion. But yet it's slightly bringing down another young man. And this young man is a true dog. Uh, uh, we may not see another Travis Hunter for the next decade or so. Who knows? You know what I mean? These kind of players only come once in a while. Think about it. When the last time you seen another Deion Sanders? Travis Hunter is about the closest thing to it. So for him to be doing what Deion was doing and more at his age and at his, his, his level... Who knows what he could do in the NFL, right? So, we just going to nip this in the bud. Hey, man, Travis, stay focused. Keep doing your thing. I, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what you do against UCF. And we're going to just keep our what? Our eyes and our ears open. Because you already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what?
truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm going to be right back with another one.